10 things, 10 things I think he thinks JavaScript developers need to know. Okay. Well, let him do his uh, 10 things and we'll come back and chat. Okay. All right. One, inheritance. I know you never had to do it manually because you use a framework, but I still think you should know how it works. Speaking of, two, what's the difference between prototype and underscore proto underscore underscore? Three, closures, a good one. Not just an explanation, but a real world example is very useful. Four, constructor function versus a factory function. If those two don't make any sense to you, then you should probably look them up. Five, the this keyword, the original fucking asshole of JavaScript. Why is it undefined sometimes? And how does it change inside functions? Speaking of number six, how do arrow functions change things? It's not just a pretty face. Number seven, event delegation. How does it work? You probably know what it is, but learn how to talk about it. And number eight, event bubbling, which is kind of the reverse or inverse of event delegation, kind of. Number nine, copy by reference versus copy by value. When you assign a variable to another variable and you change the original variable, what happens to the new variable? You need to know. And number 10, higher order functions. Feels great to say and feels even better to know it. All right, that wasn't so bad. He might actually know what he's talking about. Also, why is there light out? And why is my clothes different? Well, it's because it's tomorrow. I mean, I shot that other video of 10 things yesterday, last night. And full disclosure, I shot that video for TikTok. But, you know, I got so much love, I decided to expand upon it. It's an important topic. Also, if you're on TikTok, follow me, unless social media goes away completely somehow, because we live in a cartoon. The truth is, there's a lot more than 10 things. But you might have noticed that my list uh, isn't a typical list of sexy JavaScript things. You might have noticed I didn't include React or many other things that we talk about on this channel about JavaScript. And the reason for that is that I want you to uh, start thinking about some of the building blocks of JavaScript or your language of choice. There are people who have been working in the industry for a bunch of years who don't know some of these concepts and you know, they're getting by fine. They're doing just okay, but fine and okay shouldn't be your goal. If you want to become extraordinary, Right? And if you want to have full confidence when you go uh, into interviews and even after you get the job, right? Knowing core concepts, and there's not a whole lot of them, but there's a handful, but knowing those concepts will be a major advantage, even if it's your first job. Trust me, I work with both of these types of developers, right? And the ones that come in who have done their homework, who have been spending time on core features of the language, you can tell right away, right? I'm getting ready to do some more JavaScript on this channel and I want to, I want you to get in the habit of asking questions about things and concepts like the ones that I mentioned in this video, the first 10. So I'll be making 10 videos uh, in the next several weeks explaining each of these concepts. And you know my style, is they're gonna be short, they're gonna be quick. And I'll see, if people are into it, I'll make another 10. And uh, we'll see where that goes. So let me know if, uh, in the comments if that's something you'd be into. And uh, I'll see you then, okay?